The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today we'll be taking a look at a roomy crossover walk-around that bridges the gap between fishing, family activities, and overnight capabilities. She's the Rabalo R305, and she proves that a reasonably priced boat can also be high in quality and utility. Now, her most prevalent features have to do with offshore fishing, so let's take a look at those first. The first thing I notice is that she has high freeboard that measures 41 inches to the top of the cap rail at the cockpit, allowing her to be dry and secure in offshore conditions. The hardtop is standard and on our test boat it serves as a mounting point for fore and aft spreader lights, optional taco grand slam outriggers and rocket launchers. It also includes an electronic box, courtesy lights and a drop down life jacket storage compartment. Moving to the cockpit, we have 44 square feet of open fishing space with a pair of 99 gallon in-deck fish boxes to port and starboard. Rod holders in the cap rail lead to a quarter mounted 25 gallon live well that includes 9 inlets for circulation, LED lighting and a blue gel coat oval interior. The see-through plexi cover is gasketed all the way around. At the forward end of the cockpit, a bench seat makes a great place for watching the lines and a rigging station is underneath that includes a sink with a removable cutting board just above lockable storage for tackle boxes and pull out drawers. To starboard is a jump seat over a second live well, this time with a 30 gallon capacity. Under both gunnels there's rod storage, tow rails, courtesy lights and sockets for electric downriggers. A tool holder is just inside the gate. Now let's look at some of her features for comfortable cruising. Additional cockpit seating is in the form of a bench seat measuring 4 feet 9 inches across that lies flush with the transom. It deploys simply by lifting the bolster and pulling the seat down and the entire assembly lifts to reveal a batteries, battery switches and charger. On the bridge deck, L-shaped seating converts to multiple positions and storage is underneath. Down below the cabin is laid out with a modest galley to port and a cozy settee fully forward that not only converts to a V-berth, but the seat backs lift to convert to twin Pullman berths, which means that four people can sleep here in a pinch. The mid-cabin will accommodate two more guests in a berth that measures 6 feet 2 inches by 4 feet. The wet head is fully fiberglass lined and offers 5 feet 9 inches of headroom and a vacuum flush porcelain toilet as standard. The Rabalo R305 has a length overall of 29 feet 2 inches, a beam of 10 feet 6 inches and a draft of 32 inches. With an empty weight of 9,600 pounds, 100 gallons of fuel and 3 people on board, we had a test weight of 10,805 pounds. With a pair of 300 horsepower Yamaha 4-strokes powering our test boat, we reached a top speed at 5,900 RPM of 52.8 miles per hour. At that speed, fuel burn was 51.75 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 275 miles. Best cruise came in at 3,500 RPM and 28.8 miles per hour. That reduced the fuel burn to 16.9 gallons per hour, which the R305 could keep up for 16 hours and 460 miles while still maintaining a 10% reserve. We had a time to plane of 3.5 seconds, reached 20 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds, 30 miles per hour in 8.6 seconds, 40 miles per hour in 12.5 seconds, and continued accelerating through 50 miles per hour in 22.4 seconds. When accelerating the R305, her bow comes up 16 degrees, which causes a brief loss of visibility to the horizon. Once underway, she settles into a 7.5 degree bow high attitude, and it only takes a couple of shots of up trim to get her there. When turning, the R305 leans 12.5 degrees into the turn, which I found comfortable. When taking power off, she settles back into the water from a level attitude. The helm is colored gray and a wide open panel will accommodate optional 12 inch displays. A separate module at the top of the panel serves as a mounting point for the Yamaha multifunction displays and didn't seem to interfere with visibility. The helm seat has a high wraparound for security with a padded lumbar support over a ventilated lower back. There's extra thick padding and the controls for swivel and slide are in plain sight and clearly labeled. More importantly, the seat will allow the captain to swivel around to back down on a fish without having to swivel the seat itself. The bow is accessed from side decks. Should the R305 take any water over the bow while offshore, it quickly gets directed overboard. Rail height at the windshield is 18.5 inches to 22 inches at the working end of the bow, where we have a standard windlass with foot controls to the side. Mechanical equipment is in a spacious compartment at the forward end of the cockpit, easily accessed through a hatch. And here we can see the fiberglass hull with a finished off stringer system. Underneath, a Kevlar strip down the keel protects the bottom from underwater objects. 
That's our full review of the flagship from Roballo's walk-around lineup, the R305. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. <laughs>